Well, hey guys, what is up? I hope you're having a wonderful week this week. Uh, today, I'm just going to go over a couple more pickups. And uh, yeah, I also went to a flea market over at which I picked up just two things. There wasn't uh, too much. It already fell down. There wasn't too much to find over there apart from these two things that I wanted to just grab and bring along. This thing uh, was probably part of, you know, some dinosaurs, but it's a volcano type of thing. If you press the thingy over here, it makes some noise. But the main reason I wanted to grab this is just to have as a display piece, maybe pop some battle beasts on here. It also kind of reminded me of Boulder Hill in a little way. I might just repaint it and then pop some cool figures on there just to have like something to display on, honestly. Um, but this was 50 cents, so I can really pass it up. Another thing I got over there for 50 cents was this eagle right here. Now you're probably wondering, Ed, why would you pick up a damn eagle? Like, why would you pick up this 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 nonsense birdie thing? Well, it does flap around like this, so it does have an action. As most of you probably already noticed, uh, it looks really similar to the Masters of the Universe Zor and Screech uh, birds. And this is actually the Big Jim eagle which it is based off of so they reused this mold over at mattel headquarters to just you know ha have some less tooling to worry about they just repainted it painted one to be an evil one and popped it with the evil henchman and the other one went over to the good guys alongside he-man and uh this is the one it all came from and it says mattel it's 1972 so something like 10 years before he-man came out this one was already in existence part of the big gym toy line and for 50 cents i honestly wasn't gonna leave this guy behind it's always fun to have these little things that uh you know connect all of those big toy lines together another thing you have when you have a really big toy line is knockoffs people knocking off and trying to make money off of your stuff and one of the the toys i was really into as a kid was turtles teenage mutant ninja turtles you might have noticed i also picked up knockoffs as a kid um so these are actually some of the ones i had the store i got them from just down the street over here it just um went out of business unfortunately these are the heroes of the world fighter a toy line designed to make money off of the success that Turtles had, but they actually used some of the molds by LGN's and Dungeons and Dragons toy line. Uh, now, I do think these Turtles, they, they actually made from scratch, just to have them be the same size as uh, the Dungeons and Dragons um, toys that they popped in here. So, they actually used... Um, so they actually used the the initial Dungeons & Dragon molds for Bebop, Rocksteady, Shredder, and April. But um, for the Turtles, they got their own mold sculpted. And of course, they did the trick with, with just um, the colors. Um, so some of, that come, some of them come with an axe like this Leo. This one comes with a sword, Michelangelo. Then we have over here, oh no. This one's Raph, this one's apparently Michelangelo. They all look so much alike. This one comes with a big axe and they all always have a shield. Over here we got Donnie, or something that's supposed to look like Donnie with a morning star. Is that, is that what it's called, a morning star? Heroes of the World Fighters got all four of the turtles for a really great deal from a guy out of Portugal. Um, who I think has just a whole bunch. He, I think he found like an old store stock. They are a bit waved and they're not in the best condition, but um, they're in good enough condition to trigger that nostalgia over in my head. I, I do think that this is one of the, the wackiest knockoffs out there. So I definitely want to get my hands on that Dungeons and Dragons April and Shredder, that's for sure. Next up, we have some artwork sent in by Aaron. Aaron has a really cool Instagram page. He does prints of his awesome artwork. And this is just the shipper thing that it came in. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Check this out. Check out this artwork. So it says, Ed, love the YouTube channel. Keep up the great work. Turtle power. Just check out how cool this is. Thanks so much, Aaron. This 
is freaking amazing. In here are some of the prints that he also, um, and in here are some of the prints that he usually puts up for sale. I think you can also commission him. Over here we have a mashup of Teenage Mutant Ghostbuster Turtles. Which is really cool. Love that marshmallow dude. Love Slimer on here. Love the way they used. Love the way he used Ecto One and just the turtles. And over here is the one that I actually found this is Instagram page with. He's got SWAT cats, street sharks, turtles in here. It's it's amazing. Like they're all just hanging around in this pizza place, doing all sorts of cowabunga stuff, and even some biker mice. So yeah, Aaron, awesome stuff, dude. Awesome. This is great. Now it wouldn't be a Ed's Retro Geek Out pickup video without some cool turtle stuff, would it? These are some of the uh, shelving uh, promos used to promote Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. Yeah, so European shelvers. So, well, you have a shelf and then, you know, you place this thing on there like that and you pop the product on top over here. So this is blasphemy, but you would actually see it like this, but with a real turtle thing. Um, anyways, my buddy Coon Shredhead88 on Instagram, he had four of these, I think four, maybe three. He had uh, three of these still left out of a lot that he got them from, and um, he was parting with them, so you know I had to grab them. So freaking amazing. This is gonna look so cool in the new toy room. Ideal is, is one of the uh, distributors that did Turtles uh, for Playmates in Europe back in the day. So that's why it's got Ideal on there. And then all of the other stuff I got was also from Kuhn. This is a huge Batman thing. There's a button on the back over here and maybe you'll light up. Ooh, look at that. Ever since I started collecting those, those big giant turtles, I've been into like giant toys. So uh, I know like biker mice had them and uh, a whole bunch of other uh, toys had them just like this Batman, this Kenner Batman right here. So uh, I, I just ended up, I, I really wanted this one for a long time and uh, Kuhn have put up a big lot. So right here is the Hall of Batman, the animated figures. Uh, the animated series figures, um, as you can see, this line was just, you know, repaints of usually the same mold. They did do some adding, added sculpting, um, but very little, honestly. Um, each one of these Batmans came with an extra gimmick or some really elaborate, um, accessory, you know, to make him fly, give him a parachute, give him like something uh, with a spring action or, you know, drop him on a bike or something like that. Um, but I really enjoyed the cartoon back in the day, so I wanted to really get into this toy line anyways. And uh, when Kuhn offered this uh, bunch of Batman figures, I was like, yeah, sure, I'll, 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 I'll buy these. I, I know I had that one over there, like the the red laser thing. Uh, he has like red discs that he can shoot out and he's also like a mail away exclusive but uh, then he will have uh, I think like translucent green or yellow something like that. Um, there's a whole bunch in here that I think I had as a kid like who didn't have them and there's one Robin so got that one too. Uh, a little bit of the projectiles and uh, you know accessories that he came with they're definitely not complete but uh they do bring some nice color <laughs> variation to the batman shell for us that's for sure <laughs> more turtle stuff <laughs> uh this is stuff you also have for sale um this is one I actually owned as a kid so it's just a, a role-playing shield um that has a button to make some noises so maybe it still makes some noises That might just be the battery dying. I'm not sure what this is supposed to say. Um, maybe this is not what it was supposed to say. I had this as a kid and uh, yeah, it's basically just a shield with a nice turtle sticker on there. But uh, yeah, I like it. I, I wanted it, so I had to, to grab it. Then we got the Mutant High Mutating School Bus. Another turtles vehicle, just like any other, but uh, this one is famous because it really ties in neatly with the rock and roll turtles so what you would do is you 
open up this bus like this and out comes the whole PA system and you put the rock and roll turtles and rock and roll Mondo Gecko on there and uh, you have a stage for your turtles. On the side over here you also see everybody who's at school you actually see more of these. So you got Wacky Action Splinter driving, you got April, Usagi Jimbo, uh, Mondo Gecko, Bonafrog, all those dudes. Yeah. Um, so you can actually store a lot of them in here uh, but overall it's just a really cool one and quite a pricey one uh, lately this one has been getting really pricey like any of the mutation stuff there's you know secrets everywhere so over here you can pop in some um, some, some weapons the back over here also opens up revealing some more spots for you to place your weapons in this thing I think it jumps up or it, it moves out like this revealing guns Whoa, check that out <laughs> but yeah there you have it also got the Batman animated series uh, Batmobile um, I didn't have this one as a kid so I have no clue what is supposed to happen when you press any of this I think like some of this stuff this can pull out of there and you have like a way of escape uh, and it can just hopefully it can hopefully easily be placed back <laughs> be popped back into place um, but yeah pretty neat neat Batmobile and over here we have the final pickup of the video these are the golden horned kings king drill got king vlob and King Dwork. I guess they just added a little bit of uh, golden into the paint scheme this time around, but uh, these were actually added for all the Kickstarter backers, which is really cool. As a Kickstarter backer, you also got all of these pins as well. So I got this one so right here. Honestly, we've been spoiled as Kickstarter backers. Traction Toys and Tim Clark, they, they've definitely put something nice together. Um, all of those extras uh, are, are very nice for all of the guys that back this one. I'm not going to take these out, I'm actually just going to keep them in, but I wanted to share with you guys all of these cool looking boglins. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like 80s and 90s toys, you can definitely subscribe to the channel for more content and don't forget to hit the bell notification. As always, thanks to everybody on my Patreon and I hope to see you in the next video. See you later guys. Bye.